down. Is anyone still up in our not lost in the hallway? Fall down the stairs? Yes, yeah, yeah, up here. Yeah. Is that one missing still? Hello. Anyone else? Hello. Okay. Well, if he doesn't come soon, I'll find him. All right. Welcome officially Hello. to Spanish class. Who was not here for that first day or that little day last week? A little late day. Okay, I'm really just going to quickly summarize for you guys. I'm using a microphone and a speaker this year because this summer I had surgery on my vocal cords. So I had to have two little bumps removed. And that's why I left at the, if you remember at the end of last year when I could barely talk. And I was like super hoarse and like it was terrible. It's because I was having these bumps on my vocal cords. So I had to chop them out. And then I had to stay silent for five days. And now I'm talking again. But in order to not re injure my voice, then I'm not <coughs> talking too loudly. That's why I have the microphone. Okay? Just so you guys know, here he comes. Come on, Zach. Let's go, buddy. Pick a spot, any spot. Perfect. All right. Just so you guys know, for Spanish class, all you need is a folder and a composition notebook. Can I borrow yours, Will? OK, so this is what you'll need. Okay. Obviously, a planner, a pencil pouch, those things too. You can bring your other items that you're coming from those classes. That's totally fine. But for my class, this is what you'll need. If you do not have these two things or you didn't get a chance to buy them yet, grab your planner and just make a note of that. We are not using binders in my class okay? because the idea is at the end of every class, what you're going to do, you're going to put your, oh gosh, I can't make notes like that. You're going to put your composition notebook into your folder on one side. The other side will have handouts. And then I'm going to collect these and they're going to live in here. Okay? That way you don't have to worry about forgetting it in your locker or I left it at home or it got eaten by somebody else or trampled on or whatever excuses and weird things happen in the middle school hallways. Okay? So that's how we will every day we'll have someone just collect each row and then we'll put it we'll have a spot on the shelf where you can put it. Good day. Okay. Yes, I am. Accidentally dropped the word. That's okay. Um, we're not, you're not going to really need it today, okay? So if you guys have what you need today, I'll collect it from you, and if you don't, it's very next time, okay? Um, okay. That's all right. We can always do surgery that later if we need to. All right, my expectations. I want to make sure that you guys know exactly what I expect so that you can, yeah, it is chilly in here, but sorry. You should always bring, that's the thing about the middle school hallway, you guys. If you the class, so, in too. so always maybe have a sweater or sweatshirt with you. That's, yep, like Aubrey's got, or if you have one of the other sweaters. That way you can take it off if you are warm and you can use it if you're cold. Because I know, like, at some point in the afternoon, these rooms get really warm, but, like, this is cheese room, it's freezing. So just be prepared for that, okay? When you come in to class every day, you don't need to wait outside, okay, unless there's a class that's slow leaving. So you don't have to like wait in lines like you did in fifth grade until I invited you in. I will try to be there and greet you when you guys are coming in, but even if I'm not, I want you to come in and get out of the hallway. Okay? Even if I'm not in here, I want you to come in and get out of the hallway. Okay? Then you're going to take a seat in your spot, and I will keep you in these seats if you can handle being in these seats, if you like them. Okay? If you don't like them or whatever, maybe next week I'll come up with a seating chart for you, okay? But if you can handle sitting next to your friends or sitting next to the people you choose to sit next to, I'm fine with that for now, okay? So when you come in, you're going to come in quickly and quietly, find your spot. You don't need anything out on your desk when class starts. Hold on, you're fine now. You're fine right now. Okay. Thank you for being eager rule followers. Um, you don't need anything out on your desk. Normally when you come in, we're not going to start with a bell ringer immediately, okay? So what we're going to do every day, you're going to come in, you're going to get yourself organized, put your stuff either in a corner in a nice neat pile or off your desk completely so that it's not a temptation for you to play with, okay? especially if you're someone that you're like, if it's there, I'm going to be touching it. Okay? In middle school, we'll figure out what things we can handle and what things we can't. I'm going to say, hey, how's it going? Maybe talk to you guys about your weekends, find out what's new with you guys, how you're doing, let you know what the plan is for the day. Okay? And so for our plan today, we're going to spend a little bit of time sharing with each other and getting to know each other. And then we are, hola, hola, senor J. Hola, como estas? Bien, y tu? Uh, magnifico. Magnifico. Yes, si. Gracias. De nada. He's a work in progress, it's okay. Mm -hmm. He knows. 
All right, so then we will do, after I come in and see how you guys are doing, and we'll make sure we're good to go for the day, then I will, we will do what's called reading workshop. And so for those of you that were students here last year, that means that we're going to continue doing our silent reading time, but we're not going to start that for a while. Okay, but I'm just going to give you, actually, I need to hire a job already. Hold on. You don't even know what job I'm hiring for. Okay. And you may not vote for yourself. I need a videographer. So if you all turn and look, I have a tripod with a camera. And that is recording, but it's recording me. Okay? It's not meant to record you guys. It's meant to record me because I like to help other teachers learn how to teach the same way I teach. Okay? So other teachers watch me. I know it's weird. It's okay. This is old like you found a video of me and watched it. So it's fine. Okay? But it's not, you guys don't have to worry about acting any differently or anything like that. I mean, like, oh, my hair is going to be in the picture. Don't worry about it. Yeah, make sure you brush your hair before you come to Spanish class every day. <laughs> no, okay, and so your job is going to be to make sure it's mostly zoomed up, not like real close to me, don't do that. But like, you know, that you can see like the board and me, or maybe the TV screen and me, or maybe the easel and me, okay? Or if I go over to the library to talk, you have to move it and angle it, and you might have to zoom in or zoom out. Okay, and my plan is that I would like it to be someone who's sitting back in the back row because you have easy access to get up and down when you need to move. I would like to at some point get you a stool that you can sit on back there and then you can have like the bookshelf next to you and have a little space for your items. That would, that would be kind of like your spot, but you would still have a desk when you need it. Okay, so you need to be able to handle zooming in and out and turning the camera for following me when it's needed. So I'm going to have you, and I'm sorry for those of you that are new, unless your classmates already know you really well, they're probably not going to point to you to take this job. But if you really, really want it, you can like, make your case really quickly. So I'm going to have you point to somebody who, hey, who's raising your hand, who's <laughs> not following the directions. I'm going to have you point to somebody who you think would do a good job with this, and not like make it wiggly or messy or be like, because if you're behind the camera and you're like snickering or sniffling, the camera will hear you. And that's not good either. Point to someone who you think would do a good job with this and you cannot point to yourself. Caitlin, who are you pointing at? Me? Okay. Denar, who are you pointing at? Chanel. She's like, I don't want this job. So Caitlin, who are you pointing at? Jaden, who are you pointing at? <laughs> Olivia?
Wow, you guys are awesome. All right, this is something new this year. I'm going to put my hand up and make a fist, and that's my way of saying that I want you to stop talking and be silent with me and join me. So if you see me put my hand up with my fist, you turn your voice off first, then you put your hand up with the fist and join me, okay? And it will help everyone else realize that this is happening. I still, but the trick is you have to have your voice off when your hand is up with a fist. You can't be having your hand up and talking. That's cheating, that doesn't work. I still will be counting down like I did last year in order for you guys to get points. Okay, but until my voice is a little bit stronger and better, we're gonna use them, okay? So we're gonna try that again. I want you to double check and make sure that every single person in here has something they're excited about for this year and something they're nervous about for this year or unsure about or would like to know more about. Go okay. turn talk. Okay. <laughs> And I will not start again until everybody's with me. So even if your voice is off, but your hands not up, I'm not starting. Jalen. Jalen, I'm waiting for you. Okay. Awesome job. All right, we are just gonna quickly go around and share your two things. Levi, I would like you to please put that down because you do not need anything to be writing right now. Yes, Myra. Am I old school? They call this a turtle. Yeah, big turtle, exactly. Because turtles don't talk loudly, they're quiet. Neither are tigers. All right, Levi, we'll start with you. We're going to go across the back and we're going to snake all the way through. Make them quick. Uh, well, uh, excited, nervous. Oh, I'm excited about leaving. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you clarify? What? What do you mean by you're excited about leaving? I'm excited to go home today. Okay. <laughs> Tomorrow? Yeah. Why? Why? Turn your voice softly. Leave that there. I don't like school. Okay. <laughs> Why? Why? Turn your voices off, you guys. I don't know. I just don't have school. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm excited about the last day of school. Okay. And I'm nervous about losing my stuff. Okay. Um, no more excited to leave or last day of school those are taken, so you better think if that was yours also. Landon? I'm excited for the history thing, that's like the history day? Thing. Yeah, history okay. day, and um, I'm not excited for... I don't know. Okay, that's alright. Peter? Um, I'm excited. Well, not Peter. Not everyone is showing your respect right now. All right, when a classmate is talking, how do we show them respect? One of our values, how do we show them respect? Don't tell me what you're not doing. Tell me what you do do. Rachel? Your eye on them. Yes, your eyes are facing them. That's not just it, though. Myra? Listening. You're listening, which means your voice level is at a what? Nothing. Caitlin? Nothing. Nothing. And how about your body? Levi? Uh, well, you're not touching your Okay, so you're not touching anything on your desk, you're not touching anyone else and trying to distract them. Aubrey? Your body is still. Your body is still and just still, however. Colby? Your body is facing them. Yeah, you're sitting up and you're facing the person that is speaking, showing them respect. If you are unable to be doing those things, like I said last year, if you can't keep your head up or you are laying on your desk or you're unable to do those things, I'm going to ask you to go to the office because that means that you must not be feeling well enough to be in school. Okay, if we don't feel well enough to show respect, then we don't feel enough well enough to be in school. Okay, all right. Sorry, Peter, go ahead. Um, I'm excited about um, the senior lawyer videos and yeah. I'm nervous about um, writing a lot of papers. Are you in other classes or in Spanish or both? <laughs> both. Okay, I'm just kidding. You guys don't write papers for me in time. Her. I'm excited about all the new classes and I'm nervous about the hallways. 
What about the hallways in or south? Everyone's going in them at the same time, and you might get trampled. Okay. Ooh. All right, Myra? I'm excited to have big walkers, and I'm nervous about forgetting something in my walker for a class. Okay. I've, I've heard a couple of you say that now. One thing that I can suggest to you is if you're worried about that, take a piece of paper. And then on this piece of paper, you can make it all pretty and fancy or not. Mm-hmm. Write what class it is, so Spanish, and then underneath it, write down the materials you need to bring. And you can do that for all your classes and just tape it in your locker. That might help if some of you are really worried about that. Okay? Um, I'll get you to where you need to be, I promise. I'll re- um, I'm excited about the, um, like using the computer because I'm writing it sometimes. And I'm scared that I'm going to get trampled. Oh, okay. Well, look live. Always watching. Okay. I'm excited to try the TV. <laughs> okay, well, maybe if we can get through these a little quicker, maybe we can get to that before class goes okay. Okay. What's your name again? Remind me. Julia. Yes. I'm excited about being able to switch Okay. Yep. And we guys, we give you guys a couple weeks to get used to those bells before we start marking the cards and things too. Okay. Zach. I'm excited about You only have one more. I know. I still get Okay. And I am nervous about, uh, um, not changing as much as I like, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're not. Uh, David? I'm excited for the Why? Why? Don't have to judge him. He's allowed to have his own fun. <laughs> Why are you excited about winter? Okay. Any nervous about? Um, history. Just in general? Yeah. Okay. DJ? I'm excited for Halloween and I'm nervous about like, making slides. Okay. Okay. Practice makes perfect. John? Um, I don't know. I'm <laughs> um, Only least favorites. Oh, 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 oh. Also kidding. And there is a Did you have me? 
So that's pretty much the library. And over the next week or two, we are going to be good work, Landon. Good work. Let's give it Landon an applause. For <laughs> So for the next couple of weeks that we're going to be, I'm going to have you guys do some book talks. So what I'll have you do is any of you that read a book or an item last year and you liked it, I'm going to have you just come up here and tell the class about it in English and say why you liked it. And that way we can kind of share the different things that you found you liked and that might help give especially our new students some ideas of different things they might want to try first once we start reading. Questions? All right, here is what I'm going to have you do now. Then, after reading workshop time, we're going to go into the time of class where you're going to have to be working hard to listen in Spanish, okay? So I just want to go over my rules and expectations that we talked about last year so you understand exactly what I expect, okay? That is these three. So the first one is listen with the intent to understand. Can anyone tell me what that means? What does that look like? Want to say that, Julia? Right. But you're just, for what you're saying, are you supposed to be listening and supposed to be trying to understand? Yes, exactly. Okay, so when I'm speaking in Spanish to you guys, I'm going to do my best to be watching your faces and seeing if anyone looks scared or overwhelmed. And then I will try to like slow down or help you understand better. Okay, but you have to do your job. If you just sit there and you're like staring at the wall and you hear the Spanish, but you don't, you're not trying to understand it, you're not going to learn any of it. Okay, so we listen by trying to understand it and following me as the speaker. Okay, so that's rule number one. Listening with the intent to understand. You're trying to understand. The second one means one is one person speaks and the other listen. What does that mean? It's pretty self-explanatory, just in case. Devin? Okay. I'm talking right now. I listen you should be listening. Not just like doing all the things that we like. <coughs> just sitting there. Yes. Listening. If I am speaking, should any of you be speaking? And if I have called on Olivia to speak, should anyone else be speaking? No. Is it okay if I tell you to turn and talk to a partner that all of you are speaking at the same time? Yes. Yes, because you're following my directions, okay? If we're creating a character and I want you all to throw out ideas and I'm doing this, is it okay for you all to do that? Yes. Yes. Okay, so following my directions, but unless I have said otherwise, one person speaks, everybody else listens. And then the last one. This is my favorite because some of you aren't doing this right now. Support the flow of conversation. It's also the hardest one to understand right away. What does that mean? Colby? Like, if you're saying, like, my conversation, and you're like, it's like all in one topic, and someone just says something random, that doesn't, mm -hmm. like, support the conversation. Yes. So maybe I'm, we're telling a story in Spanish, and I'm saying, oh, the character has a dog, and then Myra, sorry, Myra, I'm picking on you, it's okay. Are you sure? Okay. If Myra raised her hand and she goes, I have a dog, is that supporting the flow of Spanish conversation? No. It might be on the same topic, but that those kind of comments you're going to have to save until at the end of class if we have extra time. Okay? So if I'm asking you for, is the character a boy or a girl, and you're like, it's a dog, it's a dog, is that supporting what I have started the conversation is? No. No. Okay? If I'm speaking in Spanish, should you be blurting random things out in English unless I've asked for them? No. No. Should you go, I need to go to the bathroom in the middle of me telling a story? No. Unless it's an emergency, okay? Um, also for bathroom usage, raise your hand. Please try not to go during this time when I'm speaking in Spanish to you. Right away when you come into class is the best time or during work time, okay? But try not to and I'm only gonna try to be speaking to you guys in Spanish for like maximum 15 minutes every day, okay? And then we're gonna do other things with what we talked about. Okay, so in that 15 minutes, I really need you in here unless it's an emergency. But then if you need to go, you ask me in Spanish. And for those of you who are new, don't worry, I'll give you some time to get used to it. But the question is, puedo ir al baño? Can I go to the bathroom? I'll say si. And you can just go straight across the hall. Any questions about my rules or expectations? Jade? What do you use Um, when I have time to make it. Yeah. How'd you remember that I was going to add one? I have to move them up a little higher too, but when I have time, I will add another one. But rule number four is, is do your 50%. So I can only give 50% as a teacher, and you guys gotta do your part as well. Yes, ma'am. Um, so you're gonna try just like every other um, teacher, like if we go back to our locker? Yes, but not for the first couple weeks. First couple weeks is freebies, but then if you forget something, but that's why I'm gonna keep your supplies. 
If you forget something and you need it, you free to go for cash. Don't pay me and go back to your locker. Any other questions? All right, so we are now going to move into the portion of class today, and we are quickly running out of time because I want us to use the TV screen a little bit later. Um, where I'm going to be speaking in Spanish to you guys. Okay, and during this time, you do not need anything out on your desk. So I would ask you to take a moment and organize your things either in the basket or on the floor or on an empty desk next to you if there is one. Now, my goal for the first week or so of Spanish here is to make you guys feel confident in what I'm doing. So some of the stuff you're going to already know, and that's okay. I want this first week just to get your brain back to listening in Spanish again. Okay? So when I say mi bien, what does that mean? Look. Look. Okay? So mi bien, el papel. What did I just ask you to do? Look at the mirror. Oh, you guys are so smart. Una falsa para los Okay, break. Just take some time and let it soak in, okay? You don't need to panic, I promise. Okay? Alright. Miren. Let me help the dog decide to work. That's nice of them. Miren. So that means? Look. Show me miren. Okay. Miren. El papel. El papel is? Paper. Fantastico. Este es el calendario. C A L A N A D A R I O. Es el calendario. Calendario en inglés? Calendar. Ustedes son muy inteligentes. Este es el calendario. I, I, I means there is or there are. I, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Siete días en una semana. Siete días en una semana. Semana in English, un voluntario. Semana. Ethan? Um. Ah. Oh, brain fart. Rachel? Week. Week. Si hay siete días en una semana. Esta es una semana. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves. <laughs> Viernes, sábado, domingo. Siete días en una semana. Okay. ¿Cuál es el mes? Agosto o septiembre? Agosto o septiembre? I'll give you a hint. I have a calendar on the wall right there that has some of the secret answers. Agosto o septiembre? Carter? Agosto. 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 Perfecto. ¿De qué color es agosto? ¿Es verde? Escribo agosto. ¿Por qué? That's going to be a problem. I have to get Mr. Sean now right on here to fix it. Escribo agosto con el color verde o con azul? O con rojo o con anaranjado. Verde, sí o no? No. no. Sí. Ah, lo siento. Adiós, verde. Rojo, sí o no? Sí. No es posible. Azul, sí o no? Sí. No es posible. Anaranjado, sí o no? No. Ok. Agosto. El mes es agosto. 
What did I just tell you about the about the month? It's what? August. Perfect. Okay. Miren el calendario. I. Negro, no. There. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco días en la semana. And what did we say semana was before? We. Oui. Perfecto. La semana escolar. Piensan. Piensan means think. Show me piensan. Show me miran. Show me piensan. Piensan. ¿Qué es semana escolar en inglés? Semana escolar en inglés. Pedro? The school week. The school week. Perfecto. Cinco días en la semana escolar. Hmm. Miren. Lunes. Este día es parte de la semana escolar. What's different about this calendar that I drew the calendar we're used to seeing? What's different about it, Caitlin? Yeah, the week starts on a Monday. Okay, so the first five days are the school week. And then, I dos días. Dos días fantásticos. Dos días fabulosos. Dos días magníficos. And, el fin de semana. Piensa. El fin de semana, en inglés. Zach? The weekend! El fin de semana, okay. Clase. Piensa. Quien? Quien en la clase? Quien? Prefiere. Prefiere means prefer. Show me prefiere. Show me miren. Show me quien son. Show me prefiere. Okay. Quien prefiere la semana escolar? Clase. Miren. A Kayla y a Ethan y a Zach. Hay tres estudiantes. Tres estudiantes. Interesantes. Kayla, Zach, y Ethan prefieren la semana escolar. Interesante. ¿Quién en la clase? ¿Quién prefiere? El fin de semana. Oh. Okay, clase mierda. Mierda, mierda. El fin de semana es popular o muy popular. Clase muy, muy popular. popular. Sí, muy popular. Esta clase le encanta el fin de semana. Okay. So that is an example of a portion of class, and I did made it really short today because we're going to run out of time and I still want to get to the screen, where we are going to use Spanish where I need your full attention, okay? And then after that, every day, we're going to review, okay? So you can look at the calendar to help you answer these questions. But I'm going to ask you for C, and C means? Yes. Yes. And no means? No. Okay, so that's what I'm going to ask you for, but I want you to think about the question before you blurt out the answer. I'll say clase when I'm ready for you to say si o no. Okay? Miren el calendario. El mes. El mes es septiembre. Si o no? No. No. El mes es? Agosto. Agosto. Perfecto. Okay. Kayla, Zach, Y Ethan, 
Prefiere el fin de semana? Sí o no, Pase? No. No, no, no. no. Kayla, Zach, Ethan. Prefieren la semana escolar. Piensan, piensan. This is a new question. Señorita Leffert, prefiere la semana escolar o el fin de semana? ¿Qué piensas? ¿Qué piensas? What do you think? Kayla? La semana escolar? No. <laughs> Levi? Uh, I'll finish. Oh, sí, es verdad. La señorita Leffert prefiere el fin de semana también. Sí. Sí, yo soy profesora y yo prefiero el fin de semana. Ok. Uno más. El fin de semana. Es muy popular, sí o no? Sí. No. Sí. Al fin de semana, al fin de semana es muy popular. Muchas personas prefieren el fin de semana. Muy bien. All right. After we review what we're doing every day, then we're going to write about what we just talked about. So here is where our lovely new television screen comes into play. If it works. Fingers crossed. It is a very large TV, but we can also touch it. And during this time, for today, you all do not need to write anything. Okay? Your job is to pay attention and contribute ideas when I ask for them. Okay? So sometimes we will write these down or you will write them in your notebooks, but for today, if it ever starts, you're not going to have to do that. And hopefully this is easier to read than last year's. Come on. Come on. All right. So you're going to have to help me out. I'm going to sit down at my writing station. And everything that I write, you will be able to see on the screen here. Okay, so your eyes can be right on the screen. Okay, you gotta help me out here. El titulo. What do you think that means in English? El titulo. La clase normal o la clase fantástica de seis a. First one or second one? Second. Second one. First one. La clase, oh. La clase fantástica. Fantástica. De seis a. Número uno. El fin de semana. And you can peek at the calendar to answer my questions to help you. El fin de semana. Es popular o muy popular? Muy popular. Al fin de semana. Es muy popular. Can you all see that okay? Yeah. Julia, yeah. can you see it okay? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Número dos. La señorita Leopard prefiere lunes. Lunes o sábado. La señorita Leffert prefiere lunes o sábado. Sábado. Sí. La señorita Leffert. Prefiere sábado. Por qué ella es maravillosa? Hmm. Okay, número tres. La semana escolar
La semana escolar. ¿Está feliz o está triste? Triste, ¿por qué? En inglés, ¿por qué? La semana escolar está triste. Kobe? I have to read. La semana. Los días están tristes. Yeah. Lunes <laughs> está triste. Yeah. You're not sad. Lunes está triste. Yeah. What am I saying? Lunes está triste. Sí. Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué? La semana escolar. ¿Por qué está triste? Peter? Because only three people in the only class. Only three people in the class prefer it. <laughs> La semana escolar está triste o muy triste? Muy triste. Okay. Muy triste. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to read this. I'm going to read it to you, and your job is to just track with your eyeballs, and then we're going to read it together in English. Okay? So where should your eyes be now? On the screen, so you can follow along with your eyeballs, okay? Here we go. Titulo. La clase fantástica de 6A. Número uno. El fin de semana es muy popular. Número dos. La señorita Leopard prefiere sábado porque ella es maravillosa. Número tres. La semana escolar está muy triste. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to read through it together, and we're going to read through it exactly as it's written. So if something is backwards or weird, I want you to read the word as I point to it. And if we get stuck, we'll stop, and I'll make sure you understand it before we move on again. Okay? We've got to stay together. And we only have, like, three minutes to do this. So we've got to stay focused. So I'm going to have my a pen here, and my points under each word, that's what I want you to say. Okay? Ready? Here we go. In English. In English. Okay, oh, we're going to try that again. We need to say it together. The last fantastic of 6A. Perfecto. Here we go. Number one. The Okay, here we go. The end. Uh, All right. So in English, we would have we would throw a the in there. So that would be like if we had if we had that there. Okay. But we're just gonna say the end of week. Okay. Starting at that sentence. Here we go. The end of week is very popular. Perfecto. Numero dos. The. The. What is Lani? The. Okay. Even though it sounds funny in English, we're just reading what the words are, okay? The Mrs. Leopard. Miss Leopard. I'm not married. Alright, here we go. The Miss Leopard prefers Saturday. Ooh, alright, some of you got it. Sabado is one part of the weekend, and that is Saturday. Alright, we're going to start with prefers. Prefer Saturday because she is marvelous. Nice, I didn't even teach you that word and you figured it out. Marvelous. Exactly. Thank you. Alright, number three, here we go, last one. Oh. Alright, so semana is the part of that phrase that means week. Alright, here we go. Starting at the beginning. The week school. Yeah, or scholarly is kind of closer to that, but school it will work. Is very sad. Oh, you guys did an awesome job. Give yourselves a round of applause.